Hey, what's up guys? It's Mark Yoon, and today I'm bringing another hopefully exciting video. So what I got for you today is all of the bonus characters from the entire Soul Calibur franchise, excluding those who are obviously main characters. So even though in uh, Soul Calibur 2 we have Lizard Man, for example, um, he would go on to become Aeon, so I'm not going to include him. And the same thing goes in Soul Calibur 3, where they have uh, bonus characters for Huang, Li Long, and Amy. Um, because those are all mainstay characters. So, but we're going to cover everybody else, and then if you stay tuned till the end, I'm going to tell you my top three, um, if you're at all interested in that. So, um, we're going to get started right away with Soul Calibur 2, because obviously there was no bonus characters in Soul Edge or Soul Calibur 1. Otherwise known as Soul Calibur. <laughs> so... What we have is the first character that is on this list is Assassin. So, uh, Assassin has showed up in a few games. They have showed up in Soul Calibur 2, Soul Calibur Legends, and Soul Calibur 3. Um, in Soul Calibur 2 and Soul Calibur Legends, they were using the Chinese sword, and in Soul Calibur Legends, in Soul Calibur 3, they were using the Kanai. Um, Obviously, a lot of the characters from Soul Calibur 3 that I'm going to be mentioning are those that are showing up in Chronicles of the Sword. Um, that was a great mode that actually gave a lot of extra lore towards the Soul Calibur franchise. And a lot of these characters are actually like well thought out and well designed characters, but they just never appeared again, which is why I wanted to do a video on them. And um, Assassin is a pretty cool one. He's from Persia. Um, his age is unknown. Obviously, you can see this information on the screen as I'm talking about it. All in all, he's a pretty cool character. Uh, he's kind of generic as far as the rest of them go. Uh, I think Soul Calibur 2 didn't, when they were introducing these bonus characters, uh, didn't know what it would become. So when we get to that, obviously we're going to go over it. The second one from Soul Calibur 2 is the Berserker. Now he is another one who also shows up in multiple games. Um, he is from the Holy Roman Empire, or this character. And he's actually, like, taller than Astaroth, so he's, you know, pretty big. <laughs> and uh, the weapon that he uses in Soul Calibur 2 is an axe. In Soul Calibur 3, he uses a lance. And in Soul Calibur Legends, he uses a mace. Um, his variation of weapon styles from Soul Calibur 2 are that of rock. And in Soul Calibur 3, it's of the knight. Uh, which, obviously, in Soul Calibur 3, we're, we're going to get into, they have... Um, different classifications for their for their weapon styles it's not just like based on the weapon style itself because you know there's classes in soul Calibur 3 so you choose a class and you have a whole array of weapons that are available to you such as if you chose um assassin you can use like dagger and bomb or like kunai and stuff like that so um just with that example out of the way we're going to move on so, that was actually everyone from Soul Calibur 2, excluding Lizard Man, like I said. Um, so, we're going to move now on to Soul Calibur 3. But before we do, apparently, uh, those are only available in the North American and European ports of Soul Calibur. And, obviously, they have to be unlocked in arcade mode. It's not like um, they come off the bat, because that's why they're bonus characters. Yay, old times of back in the day when we can actually unlock characters. So, Soul Calibur 3, the first character we're going to be covering is Arthur, which he's from the British Empire, United Kingdom, and which is present day United Kingdom. His birthday is June 8th, so he is appearing in Soul Calibur and in Soul Calibur 3. The weapon that he uses is a katana, and the weapon name is uh, the Gassan, and in Soul Calibur 6, uh, it's the Masamune. So, he's actually a pretty cool character. He was like a basic, like, samurai before, like, you know, we really got into, um, a lot of the different lore of the samurai in Soul Calibur. I really like his design, especially with the eye patch and the blonde hair. It gives him a little bit more of an aesthetic appeal, um, aside from Mitsurugi, who's, like, a basic kind of, like, ronin samurai. So, I l actually really dug him. And uh, I know a lot of other people have too, who they mentioned on my videos before. I can't spend too much time on all of these because there's a lot. So I don't want this video to be like a half an hour long. Uh, so we're going to move on. We have Revenant, who we all remember probably fu uh, fighting, who was using the wave swords. Um, in Soul Calibur 3, the long sword and pistol, which is Cervantes style in Soul Calibur 4. 
and um, like I said, he used the Dual Manta style in three and Cervantes style in four. We're moving on to Miser. Miser is a cool looking um, girl character and she uses the Katana and Shuriken in Soul Calibur 3, which is still my favorite weapon style of all time in all of Soul Calibur and I really wish it would come back. The Katana in Soul Calibur Broken Destiny and Soul Calibur uh, 6. And in, uh, if we mention Soul Calibur 6, the majority of these are probably going to be in Libra of Souls mode. Similarly with the Chronicles of the Sword mode, it added a lot of extra lore. A lot of you guys already actually know this. More, most of this information I'm covering is for new people on my channel, so bear with me if I cover things that I've covered before. Then we are followed up with Greed. Greed uses the Dual Kanai and... Um, both of those are actually in Soul Calibur 3 and in Broken Destiny. He just used different variations of those weapons. Abelia, which is one of my favorite characters from Chronicles of the Sword. Uh, her full name is Abelia Shilfet, and she is from the Grandal Empire. She uses a broadsword and a small shield, and the weapon is the Eternal Rest. Then we have Giradot which is our favorite mentor <laughs> from Chronicles of the Sword who referred to us lovingly as his baby birds. We all know that he is from the Grandal Empire as well and he uses a lance. We have another fan favorite, which is Chester. And Chester used a dagger, which was the thief style in Soul Calibur 3. Then we have Demuth. Demuth is from the Haltese Republic, and he uses a steel fan. We have Aurelia, which I believe was the... She was married to the Dalkin King. I don't quote me on that. I'm not, I don't remember. Um, but she is from the Dalkia Kingdom, so I think she is the, the mistress or the, the ex-wife, I guess you would say, of uh, the Dalkia King. Um... She uses the chain sickle, and the weapon is the Black Widow. Following that, we have Luna, and Luna uses the Chinese blade known as Dystopia. We have Strife Astlar, who is from the Grandal Empire, and he uses uh, Ambition or Soul Edge, so that's obviously the Iron Sword style. And then we get to our favorite shopkeepers. So our three shopkeeper girls are all actually like really cool. And I like a lot of them. And one of them just might show up on my top three list. So let's go on to that. Valeria. She is from present day Italy, obviously. It's uh, Venice, Republic of Venice. And she uses the Grieve Edges, which were the weapons that you used on your feet. The kicking style with the blades. And the ones that she particularly uses are the Cephia Steel. Our next welcome to my story girl is Hualin, and she uses the, um, she's from the Xi'an outskirts in the Ming Empire, which is present day China, and she uses the rod, and it is also the Cephia steel. Last store clerk on our list is Lynette, and she is from Kiev, the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, which is present day Ukraine. And uh, being from Ukraine, and she uses a dual tambourine, and which is also the Cepheus seal. Now, that was all of our characters from Soul Calibur 3, again, excluding any ones who are already in the roster. So, we're going to move on to Soul Calibur 4 now. And uh, some of them are really hard to pronounce, so I'm going to do my best because it's been a while since I played 4, so I forget the actual pronunciation of the names. Um,. So we have Shereherazade, and she is from a reclusive village. Uh, she's like an elf, and she uses a rapier, and the weapon name that she uses is Alf Layla Walayla. And her fighting style is Amy's, not Raphael's. Then we have Angolfir, and Angolfir is from the core of the Macrochrasm, and she actually uses 
uh, the weapon known as Planet, which is the Lucifer Sphere Blake Black, which is Sungmina's style, but it's an exclusive weapon. And everyone knows the next character is my favorite character of all time in Soul Calibur, so you're definitely going to see her on my top three list, which is Shura. Obviously, she's from Japan, and she uses Cervantes style with the, the Reijin Maru and the Fujin Maru, which are the two twin katanas, which is a style that really needs to come back. I mean, not just Cervantes, but Shura's particular style herself. Then we have Ashlot, which is the puppet girl, if I remember correctly. Um, she's from the Hidden Temple of Weigel, and she uses the uh, headed axe, and the weapon's name is Kernelk. And then we have, not to be un outdid by her uh, brethren in arms, we have Kamakiri Musi, which uh, is also from Japan, and she's kind of like an Oni character, and her weapon style is Kanabo, and she... The name of the weapon is the Denryo Bakwa, and she uses Nightmare style. So that's everyone from 4, but not to be outdid, 5 actually didn't have any bonus characters, but they did um, have Katsuhiro Harara, Harara, which is the um, creator or the, one of the producers of Tekken. I think it's the director, actually, of the Tekken series. He showed up in that endless battle mode, the card battle mode for the creative characters as an actual um, character that he created himself using Devil Jin style. And actually, if you beat him, if you found him, were lucky enough to find him and beat him in that style, in that mode, you actually unlocked a trophy for that too, which I just wanted to mention. So that covers all of the bonus characters, not, with, not withholding the characters, obviously, that are reoccurring characters, such as Kwong and Lizard Man and Amy. But... Now it's time for me to go into my top favorites. So, obviously everybody knows that watches this channel knows that Shura is definitely going to be on the list. So, we're just going to get her out of the way. Shura is definitely my top favorite character in all of Soul Calibur. So, she's definitely my favorite bonus character as well. After um, Shura, I'd have to really say that my next favorite character is Valeria. I just like her in the Grieve Edges, and she's, like, really cool in the shop, so we get to interact with her a lot more than other characters. Um, it's just one of the reasons why I like her a lot. And the last character I'm going to put on here is actually a hard one, because there's a lot of characters that I actually really like. Like, I actually really like Abelia and, and Giridot. I like Chester. Um, I like Arthur. Um, I like Aurelia. Luna, like, I actually really like a lot of the bonus characters, somewhat more than, like, the main cast, but the third character that I'm going to mention is my favorite, is probably one of the more unique ones, and, uh, it's really hard for me to choose between, um, Kamakiri Musi and, um, and Angolfir, so I'm just gonna combine them together, <laughs> I'm gonna cheat a little bit, and the third character that is my favorite out of the bonus is both Angle Fear and Kamakiri Musi. I'm sorry, I can't choose between them. That's just the way it is. <laughs> so let me know your favorite bonus character in the comment section down below. I will also be doing a separate video tomorrow, which is gonna be covering all the guests in the Soul Calibur franchise and also covering my favorite amongst them. So be sure to check back for that tomorrow. Start a conversation down in the comment section with each other. I definitely wanna hear your favorites and uh, tell me why as well, not just like who they are. And with that being said, guys, we're going to bring this video for a close. And thank you for watching, and I will check you guys later. Peace.